So in this video, I want to create a simple draw navigation like the one you see on the screen right now. You can see the iOS version and you can see the Android version. To start off, let me first show you the versions of React Native and other libraries that I'm using. So we're using React Native uh, for this app. We're not using Expo, but you can always use Expo as well. It will be similar, just minor changes. So this, these are the versions. So if you want to use the same version as me, so you can start off by installing React Navigation. And I'm going to also put the versions as well. For example, here we're using React Navigation version 6.1.7. So we can let that install. And then along with React Nav Navigation, we also need to install a couple of other dependencies. For example, the React Native screens and React Native safe area. For React Native screens, we're going to use version 3.2.3. And then, so we can let that install. And for React Native Safe Area Context, we're going to use version 4.7.1. So let's let that install. If you run your app right now, you'll notice that you're going to get an error. This error is mainly caused by the fact that we have to make changes to the native code in Android. For example, we need to edit the the main activity. So like what you can see on the screen. So this will happen for some people. It won't happen for some other people. So, but it's better to just add that native code in there. So you'll see on the screen where you need to add the native code. It helps the app run better. Now that we're done with that, so we're gonna do put install for iOS so that we, the libraries are pro properly installed for iOS. Now that we're done with that, we are going to add some more dependencies to help with the with the with the drawer navigation. But before we get to that, let's first add a couple of other screens so we can see that the stacks are happening as in like you can you're able to move between the screens so i'm just going to add one additional screen so that i can move bit other uh, between the screens and then if that works then we can move over to the draw navigation cool in order to get the draw navigation working we have to install the the drawer library from a React Navigation or the package. So after we install that, uh, the version of it uh, you, you can see on the screen. But then it has other dependencies as well. For example, it has React Native Jasha Handler and Reanimated that we have to install. So we're going to start off with React Native Jasha handler so there we're using uh, version 2.1.2 one thing you'll notice is that if you run the app as it is you're gonna get an error if you just install a react native just a handler so we have to do some changes again for android in the native code just to increase the the minimum uh, SDK versions that so that we can have uh, the versions that are supported by the React Native Gesture Handler. Another package that we're gonna install again is React Native Reanimated, and this time I'm gonna install version 3.4.1. So let's let that do its, its thing. Cool. So we have everything working now. So we're just gonna open up the simulator and run the app to see if our drawer navigation works. So I'm just going to add some code as well to which has all the drawer navigation. It's just simple screens that you have and then a drawer section. That's all. So the all that all this code is will be in the description. So just in case you want to use the same code, but otherwise you can just go to the docs, it will the same code. Cool. We have our app, which is working right now. Uh, the, let's do the iOS version. Let's do pod install and then 
run the iOS version. Cool, the iOS version has been installed and you'll see that everything is working as planned. So like I mentioned, the, you might get a few errors. The errors are, which are gonna happen in Android are due to the native code being not inst like you not editing the native code to add the, the, the proper methods that are required by the library. But all of that will be in the description just in case you want to know where you need to add the, the native code. Other than that, I hope you enjoyed this quick tutorial. I'm not gonna add any more details for all the types, but you can see you can always expand from what I've done and add the types for the navigation. If you don't know how, I'm just gonna link uh, an article, medium article on how you can do that. Cool, have a great one, cheers.